Indeed. You look over to this woman. She's in her 70s, maybe. Very long hair and dreads. She has some tribal tattoos over one eye. She's dressed rather comfortably and is just leaning against the wall. Her eyes closed at the moment. There's a very soft snoring noise coming from her. Reasonable, given the situation. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't worry, Archon. I've got this. And she gives her, like, a good poke to the gut. Not enough to cause damage, but it's a metal gauntlet. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. H hello. Um. She looks at the three of you. Can I help you with something? The job. That man that just left. Payments oh, and oh. gold pieces. Oh. Ribbons. Yeah, yeah. He, he gave me gold somewhere in here. She reaches in, kind of like just behind her into her dreadlocks and pulls out a bag. Um... Do you got your ribbons? Right here. Indeed. I also okay. have my friends. He's... She, um, pulls out ten gold pieces for each of you and hands it out. If you don't mind, I would also, uh, for my friend, he is going to be coming. With me, at least. I don't know about the other two, but... Could I collect I that like for that. him? Personally, See, I wouldn't mind sticking around with you two. You seem more, uh... But yeah, I can vouch for him. He has a friend. I think I saw him on the way in. That's the only yeah. person I think you could yeah. cause so much destruction. He seemed big enough. <laughs> sure, here you go. She tans you ten more gold. Thank you. I do apologize, but he has a habit of getting us into more trouble than we should be in. Mostly by not being where he's supposed to be. Oh, you understand that. She looks off into the middle distance. My grandson Johnny is just like that. Oh, was. I think I worked with a Johnny once. Something happened? No, definitely not. I need to speak with the blacksmith now. Oh, I, I wasn't actually referring to your Johnny. <laughs> she says she walk away. <laughs> uh, well, uh, he took a job with two strange men and, well, wasn't heard from since then. I like to think he's out sea somewhere, just making his way back home. Orton, this is definitely ringing a bell. You have definitely worked with Johnny in the past. <laughs> well, at least he it is isn't dead. Jeremy. At least it isn't Jeremy. Jeremy's the only one that matters. You come into the blacksmiths, the first thing that you notice about it is there are just strings all along the walls, tied down to different sections of the floor that Makes the entire place seem a little claustrophobic, even though it's still a large space. If you look up, you notice that the ceiling is not really solid, more of just like a jumbled mass of cloths that seem to keep something above head. A single blacksmith is walking away in an anvil. He is a dwarf that's rather stout, rather muscular has a bit of a mullet going on. His long beard, a testament to his dwarfishness. He looks at you as you enter. What can I do you for? Hey, I heard you might have some alchemist tools. I My last set got uh, damaged, so I was hoping to pick up some new ones. I think I got some somewhere around here. Um, It's gonna be eight gold. Really, eight? I... It's been more than I paid for my last set. Any chance I could uh, convince you to bring the price down a little bit? Ugh. I mean, I gotta go fix those dummies here in a little bit. Patch them up, I'll lower it to, say, three gold? I'm already supposed to fix a table. I suppose I can spend some time working on those. Sure, uh, I'll, I'll work on those. I uh, plan to be working on repairing things all through the night, I suppose, anyway, so... Hmm. Anything else of interest? Uh, for me, no. No, not really. Uh, Arton will just count out three of the gold from what he was just recently paid before putting the pouch uh, back away. He holds his hand up. 
If we're doing that kind of deal, I'll have to wait until after you fix the dummies before I take it. Well, I'm going to buy them either way. It's just easier if I make sure that you don't sell them to somebody else while I'm working on that, yes? I haven't sold one of those in almost a year since that other kid moved into town. And I got two sets of them, so... And yet, there's a lot of adventurers here, and I can't prom... (laughs) I can't really be sure that they won't want to buy one. If they buy one, it's fine. I'll hold on to the other one for you. Well, thank you, then. Arton just says, till next time in Dwarvish, and proceeds to head out. So, uh, Arton, yes, before you leave... Do you know anything about this tomb of Nazik, was it, I think? Where it might be located? I- I'd like to know, before I start wandering out in the desert, how much I need to prepare. Thinking back on it, within the Akron Desert, there were tales of, well, a great ancient king that ruled maybe 500 years ago, something like that. His kingdom was said to be in the northern section of what is now the desert. Beforehand, there wasn't a desert. It seemed to have been actually like a lush place way back in the day. But something changed about that. The tomb itself, where you suspect it might be, is somewhere within this area. Given the different context clues that you've received over the years... Any time that you've looked into it, it is maybe there. Uh, well, if you're worried about it, it shouldn't be too far from the edge of the, of the, edge of the desert. Um, at most, a three days' journey, somewhere in that area. Uh, if we need to leave from the desert to restock, it shouldn't be too difficult to get back out. Though hopefully we won't need to. All right. I'll go make some preparations myself, then. Meet up in front of the tavern once all is said and done. Indeed. Um, I need to stop by the bookshop before I begin working on repairs, so that's where I'll be. I'll join you. They said it was provisions or somewhat over there. I need to pick up some healer's tools. Ah, Warren has a few of those as well. Uh, not a bad idea. They have, uh, antidotes there as well. Strange for a bookshop. I suppose in a small place like this, you'll find pretty much everything everywhere. Even where you don't expect it. True. As you come into the room, I need you to give me a reflex save. You narrowly dodge out of the way and actually put your hand up to grab it as... A single book comes flying from the other side of the room. Looking at it, you open it up to the first page. The title of it is... Aquan Desert, and where to find it. Ah, one of my favorites. Hey, yeah, it was... It was tricky little one. It's... It was hiding in the back. Uh, should give you a little something to expect, and... As for magic stuff itself honestly not too much here in this uh this is roughly like the fifth biggest library on in Laswell Kingdom uh well when we are a part of Laswell Kingdom but magic is something that's a little hard to come by trust Um, me I know I did find this book about chimeras though if you're interested I do like chimeras but Mm. I would like to take a look at it, but I don't think I'll be taking it with me. I don't plan to fight a chimera. Alright, just, uh... Okay, yo, just remember the five-page rule. We had to pass five pages, you gotta buy it. I don't think that's how that works. Especially with the library. Uh, the library's a little bit of a... generous tune when it comes to this, so... Um... You did just call it a library yourself. Fifth largest at that, while you're part of the Laswell Kingdom, anyway. We can't really hold on to the past that much. He just kind of, like, pats you on the leg as he's not really ah, able if you to don't hold on to the, If you don't hold on to the past, you don't have language. Or currency value. He looks at you. Would you like to apply for a library code? I thought you'd never ask. 